it was uh, certainly something that uh, we had hoped for. Obviously, I think as was said by Bertie Ahern in his statement, there can't be normalisation until such time as violence has been taken out completely, and that does require the um, that final definitive step by violence. And uh, certainly from, from our perspective, the call upon the uh, request to both the Spanish and the French governments to respond positively is uh, very, very important and also to, uh, to deal with the consequences of such a statement if it were to be made by NATO. Um, and uh, I mean, we heard earlier on uh, when Jonathan Powell was speaking, um, he spelt out what those consequences are and the issues that, that he listed which need to be dealt with uh, during that engagement between ETA and the uh, two governments would be related to political prisoners, exiles, the question of decommissioning of arms, the question of normalizing the security situation. So I would certainly hope that uh, those are the issues that, uh, that the parties uh, discuss uh, once I should rather say if it uh, takes the, uh, the step that uh, we're hoping that they do. But when do you expect the step? Well, I, I think that um, something which is very important for the, um, for the process as it has been unfolding is that we maintain momentum. And uh, I certainly don't want to create expectations about dates but uh, I think what I am happy to, I'm willing to say is that uh, it, it, it should be sooner rather than later. So I would, I would hope that there's not an undue delay before there's a response from ETA because I'm sure that if ETA were to respond positively, um, it would not take the two governments long to, uh, to respond. I, I, I would hope that, it, that it's sooner rather than later. There are some speculations in the papers about an imminent uh, declaration by the uh, well, you know, I think it's the nature of newspapers to, to speculate and create expectations. And uh, I think that um, I don't think we should create an expectation that a statement is going to be made tomorrow. Um, I, I think we, we need to, uh, to allow some time. As we've heard, this conflict has been going on for many, many, many decades, and um, we need to just exercise a little bit more patience, but uh, I, would, I would hope that, um, that it doesn't take too long. Good. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you. you. All the parties, all the political parties, uh, who have been, uh, agree with the uh, commitments and the engagements uh, you have uh, set today, my including the Socialist Party. <laughs> Well, my, my sense is that um, that given given the the contributions and given the sentiments that have been expressed by the parties, that today's statement, which was made, um, is a very accurate reflection of the of the needs of, of and the expectations of all the parties who attend. Uh, I would be surprised if, if there are parties that would feel that the request that was made by the uh, group of leaders um, is, is not a true reflection of uh, the sentiments and views that have been expressed. Mm -hmm. So yes, I think the parties generally will be happy. Mm -hmm. yeah. There, there were some you. public complaints by the victims that came mm -hmm. here that they were not invited. Uh, mm -hmm. My understanding was that uh, there, there, there were invitations to civil society groups generally. We met yesterday. We divided the international contact group into three separate groups, and we met in this building yesterday. And uh, we must have had at least probably around 200 people here representing a wide range of civil society organizations. And um, I understand that victims' groups had been invited to uh, 
to participate in that. Uh, I think that there, there are obviously difficulties with, with, um, with victims groups. They understandably would find it and do find it difficult to, uh, to, 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 to manage this sort of conflict transformation process because there are certain consequences which uh, which they might find very difficult to deal with and I think that victims need to be respected and they need to be dealt with very sensitively and importantly uh, that was if I remember correctly the second issue that was um, mentioned in the five point document that uh, Bertie Ahern presented that he spoke specifically about victims and about reconciliation. And it's easy to talk about those things, but the achievement of those things is, is not going to be easy at all. But it has to be done. Good. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much.